morning, my friends. It is so great to be with you again this absolutely gorgeous Tuesday morning here in Surfside, California. Couldn't be any more lovely. As you look out there, you can see flat, calm seas, sunny. Actually, it's kind of cool, but when you get in the sun, it's kind of warm. And today is a pivotal day because the pride, after delaying a day because of weather concerns, is going tonight on a 22nd Street landing. Her bow will be pointed toward the Tanner Bank. And we'll get an answer tomorrow morning as to whether those bluefin tuna want to bite or not. The water temp's up there around 58 degrees, and that has been just fine in the past. So I don't know. You know, I mean, these storms, we get these storms. They're pretty good blows. Yesterday was blowing pretty hard out there in the previous day. And you think that's it. And every single time, you're wrong. Those things are so resilient, and there's so much feed out there. There's live squid out there, and they are gorging themselves, fattening up for next year or maybe for Christmas, and I have my doubts that they are not going to be there. In other words, I think they're going to bite, in case that wasn't clear, and it really wasn't. Anyway, you know what time it is, everybody. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mm, so good. Hey, it truly is great to be back with you all. What a beautiful day today it is. And the weather out there on Tanner Bank is going to cooperate. It's going to be much nicer, and the pride has a real chance at coming through with some fish. Before we go any further here today, please smash that thumbs up button. We really need you to hit that like button. It really helps us a lot. And I hope you're enjoying some of the shorts we are putting together now. We're starting to do more shorts. I hope you're enjoying that. We did one on the bait operation out of san pedro and some other ones the best carne asada you'll ever find in tecate baja california i'm telling you to die for and a lot more so hit that like button make sure you enjoy our shorts and also don't forget to subscribe tick the bell so you know when there's new content and if you're enjoying these presentations please share them with a friend. All right, happy holidays, everybody. Great to be with you all. Let me start you out south of the border and tell you the weather's beautiful down there for the guys out of Blackfin Sword Fishing. Victor, his family, all the guys down there that do such a great job. You're gonna enjoy fishing with them in the coming year. If you don't sneak down there before the year is out, and I highly recommend you do it because the rockfish are biting really, really well down there. It has been special really good lane cod fishing more and more boccaccio starting to show up also a lot of tree fish and you know other bottom grabbers that provide such excellent table fare and the whole experience about driving across the border well it's just something that i love so much and i know you will also i mean the food the people the culture the camaraderie with the guys at blackfin arnie sport fishing really good guy he's super super great fisherman and a really great guy same thing with diego nuno and costa baja fishing down there in ensenada there are so many great people i just love fishing you know one of the things when you're going by puna banda and you're let's say you're fishing out of blackfin right now you're going to go by puna banda there's a place called campo siete and the fishermen there and women mostly men Man, I'll tell you, talk about dedication to this sport. Talk about making you feel like you've never done all that much to enjoy the sport like they do. They literally climb down these cliffs, some less arduous than others, but some where they're almost having to rappel down. It is really, really amazing to see how many people are along that rugged Baja coastline and to see how they got down there to enjoy a day's fishing really humbles me and i love seeing those folks down there i got to go down with victor and shoot a video with those brave people who do so much to enjoy a day on the water and they've been catching lots of nice bonita there occasional yellowtail it's been pretty good so when you go by there make sure you remember just the sacrifices and how they literally put their lives in danger to enjoy a day's fishing it's really remarkable stuff. All right, so good rock fishing south of the border. There's an occasional yellowtail further down the line at the San Martin Island area, San Quentin. 
tremendous barred perch fishing going on on the beaches down there, calling it, and down there around San Quentin, even above there a little bit, but really good yellowtail action around San Martin and down the coast on some high spots. It's been pretty darn good down there and excellent rock fishing as always. That bite just has not slowed down one bit. They've got nice weather right now also, so hopefully that's going to continue to head in the right direction. All right, Tanner Bank, uh, that's going to be answered. Whether or not that bluefin still wants to bite tomorrow morning, thanks to Sean on the Sean Roberts on the Pride and Michael Pavan, those guys are going to go out there and give it a look. A bunch of hardy anglers are ready to go, and I wish you guys all the very, very best. You should get bit. If everything remains the same with all that feed, I think those fish are going to hang in there. Water temp should not be an issue. That bluefin has been biting in that water temp before. The ocean is going to be a way lot nicer than it was the previous few days. As you can see, things are really gorgeous. And not that you can tell what Tanner Bank weather is going to be like by looking here, but it is way different here also. So things seem to be headed in the right direction. Remember, it has been a bite where those fish are a little bit on the finicky side and sometimes they will get that way especially when um, the water temp is kind of low so that is something to keep in mind so you might have to drop down to even 20 pound floral www.opsinusa.com you might have to drop down to that even a number four size hook talk to your crew guys talk to sean talk to them they're out there they know what they're seeing they know what they're looking at they've seen it all before they can judge the intensity of the bite while you're there in real time, it's really important to listen to your crew when you're out on any boat and take their recommendations. Now, sometimes when you're fishing live squid or fresh dead squid, you can bump that up a little bit to 25, 30, 40. And once again, it's going to depend on what is going on when you get out there. So keep that in mind. And if the fish bite or they don't bite, you're going to cash in on some really great rock fishing, big, beautiful reds and all kinds of other great fish out there so keep that in mind also you're gonna put some color in the fish holds as we like to say as i used to beg tommy rothery coming back on long range trips on the polaris supreme come on riddler let's do it and he's like no 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 come on i go riddler please like two drops please get down on my hands and knees and beg and tommy would say all right and uh we'd have phenomenal bottom fishing somewhere there along the Baja coast so you're going to get in on that and that should be really really good so nobody's been out there lately the XL was on a three-day trip out there recently and had really really great fishing on the bluefin tuna so I'm guessing that is going to continue to produce some really good fishing the Freedom has some trips I believe they've got a trip this evening so they were short a few people it's a good time to jump on with this nice weather before Christmas Things still look really, really good. Remember to vary that tackle 20, 25, 40, and maybe a 60 to go along with it. And you should be in really, really fine shape indeed. All right. Um, Island-wise, you know what's going on down there at San Martin Island. Todos Santos right there off Ensenada. We're seeing mostly rockfish, occasional yellowtail, and good bonita fishing at times there, but mostly over there around Puna Banda area up there at the Coronado Islands, rockfish uh, out there at Clemente. Nobody's really fishing it. There's been a few yellows, rockfish, uh, Catalina, some of the yacht guys still continue to catch some nice sea bass out there. Uh, same thing at Santa Barbara Island. Uh, Santa Barbara has more on the yellowtail popping up for about 45 minutes every day. Nice grade, 18 to 25, some of it a little bit bigger than that. Catalina's got bonita and rockfish. Rockfish at Santa Barbara. Great rockfish there in the Channel Islands as that bite is continuing to impress. It's been really, really good on the bottom fish, lings, reds, all that stuff. Biting very, very well, and they've got a nice weather opportunity. Don't forget our raffle. Man, you got to get involved in this. The funds are going to help us send more and more goods down to Mexico to help our friends, our brothers and sisters down there. So if you'd like to get in on that raffle, all you got to do is send me a text. I'll send you the information. 657-227-6459. I'll get you all up to snuff on that. On our coastline here, we continue to catch all rockfish for the most part. Occasional bass here and there also. Sand bass and calico bass, few and far between. Most of the guys are fishing rockfish because 
for two reasons. It's good, number one, and the season closes on the first. So a lot of guys are taking advantage of that right now. As it will be closed through March. So good time to go out and catch some fish, taco material. And remember, after January the 1st, you've got the advantage of going down, or the option, I should say, of going down there to Blackfin Sport Fishing. You can go down there and fish with those guys south of the border, or you can jump on a boat that's headed out of San Diego and going south down there to Punta Colonet, a 120-mile jaunt down the Baja Coast. And that's another great place for you to get it done. Also, in the surf, I was out here the other day, caught a uh, guitar fish. There's a lot of that around. There's a few halibut around, and there's some nice fat yellow fin croaker. Also, in the wintertime, when you're surf fishing, bait is probably your best way to go, with the exception, well, I shouldn't say that. If you have live bait and you're fishing halibut, that's a great way to get it done. But with the exception of halibut, I was going to say lucky craft type lures were good, but you'll also get bit on halibut fishing a chrome lure, a cast master, a crocodile, something like that. Also, will work really, really well. It is gorgeous down here, and I hope you're having a really great day. Don't forget, hit that like button. We really appreciate all your support. And of course, don't forget to shoot us a message about that raffle. And our Monte Carlo trip has been moved to January the 6th. More details coming up, but you're going to want to put that day aside to go fishing with your kids with Friedman Adventures. All right, everybody, wishing you happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and hoping that I get to see you really, really soon. Have a great morning, my friends. Mm. Ah.